Dragon Quest V first came out on the Super Famicom in Japan on September 27th, 1992. The Dragon Quest series has been subject to various urban legends over the years, but this time we're looking at an interesting one that has never been confirmed one way or the other and, by all accounts, can only be found on the Super Famicom version of the game. This is the tale of the mysterious extra tombstone. To very quickly sum up the game, you start as a young boy who is taken into slavery after his father is killed. The young boy escapes 10 years later and goes on various adventures, then at some point is given a choice of who he'd like to marry, either his childhood friend Bianca or the daughter of a rich nobleman, Flora, also known as Nira in English. His wife and children are then kidnapped by monsters and he must set out to save them. The heart of this particular urban legend lies in which partner you choose to marry and what happens after that. Do you pick your friendly but weak childhood friend from the countryside, or the haughty daughter of a rich nobleman who makes you complete a dangerous quest for him before he even considers giving you his daughter in marriage? If you choose Bianca, your childhood friend, then the game continues as normal and you won't notice anything odd, but if you pick Flora, then you might notice a little addition to the game. That addition is an extra tombstone in your hometown. Who does it belong to? How did it get there? First, according to the legend, a few conditions must be met. First, you must take Bianca with you to stay at the alpaca before you choose a woman to marry. You must also include Bianca in your party when you battle at the waterfall cave. Then, after all this, you choose Flora as your wife. Once you return to your hometown after saving Flora, then, you'll notice that the two tombstones in town have suddenly increased to three, and it only happens after you follow this order of events. So, who does the third tombstone belong to? There have been various theories proposed over the years, but the most commonly accepted one is that it's perhaps the tombstone of Bianca and the hero's child. After all, it only occurs once you stay with her in the inn, take her out to battle, and then marry someone else. So, perhaps Bianca and the hero conceived during that time, but then he went off and married someone else, leaving her with the child. Then, for whatever unknown reason, that child died in the time the hero was out saving his wife, and so, when he returns, he finds the extra grave next to those of Bianca's parents. Why the extra grave is there has never been confirmed one way or the other, and by all accounts can only be found in the Super Famicom version after following this particular series of events. There is, of course, no name or indication who the grave actually belongs to, so the theory ultimately remains that, just a theory. But if it was the true intention all along, then it certainly shines a new light on the game's hero, and makes the world just a little darker than it already is. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.